hello guys today in this video we will discuss about mitosis and why this process is useful in our body so as you look here mitosis is a process of cell division which allow us to repair our body part which gets damaged so how this process of mitosis takes place so if you look at this cell where you can see that a cell has undergone division to form two daughter cell and this is how this mitosis takes place so mitosis consists of four different phases the first among them is prophase, then comes a metaphase, then anaphase and telophase. So these are the four different phases that allows the cell to go from one to two different cell. Okay, so let us look at this video. In this video, you can see that the DNA are elongated and they are not condensed. But when this process of mitosis starts, this chromosome that you are seeing here, they starts getting condensed as well as shorten up so this allows them to form a pair of um, sister chromatids so that they can participate in this mitosis event so you just look at this process what i was trying to explain is that see this chromatids which were elongated now getting shortened up and these chromosomes are also getting aligned with their sister chromatids now apart from these things this nucleus that you are seeing here they are also start to getting removed the nucleus as well as nuclear membrane all of them starts getting dissociated so this is what happened in the prophase and the centrioles both of them moves to the opposite pole of the cell so these things happens in the prophase now when it comes to metaphase during this metaphase what happens is that this microtubules the spindle fibers that comes from the centrioles it will come and bind to the centromeric region of this chromatid you can see this spindle that are imaginating out from this centrals are now winding to the centromeric region and this portion is also known as kinetic core because this kinetochores link this chromatid with this spindle fiber so during this metaphase they are aligned themselves in this spindle fiber okay so then comes the anaphase and during this anaphase both of the sister chromatids starts getting detached from each other that means the sister chromatids will move towards two different pole of cell the opposite pole of cell okay so once this separation is completed the anaphase process will also get completed so this is how the anaphase process takes place so in this case the sister chromatids get detached from each other and they move towards the opposite pole now after the anaphase will end the telophase will come and in this telophase what will happen this chromatids will detach themselves from the spindle fiber and this spindle will get reduced as well as the formation and reappearance of nucleus and nuclear membrane will take place so once this two takes place the cell will start doing cytokinesis okay so in the cytokinesis the from the single cell you can see two daughter cells are present through cleaving at this cleavage furrow that will lead to the generation of two different cells okay so two daughter cells that are identical to the parent molecules and in case of plant what happens just at the center a cell wall is formed followed by the elongation of this cell plate region and when appropriate size is reached the cell division take place this is how mitosis in plant take place